Hi Virgo, I hope that you're doing well and welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to do a specific reading for any sun, moon or rising Virgo. And uh, before I start the reading, I just want to ask you to subscribe to my channel for daily videos and daily readings. And of course, I just want to ask you to watch the video until the end. Maybe there is a secret or a message for you. You don't want to miss, okay? Here we go. We're gonna shuffle the cards together and see what messages you have from God or from people. And um, okay, let's see. I already shuffled the cards, but I'm just doing it in front of you guys. I think I'm gonna split the deck into three parts and choose two cards from each one. That's what I usually do. Okay. Okay, Virgo, so here's your cards. Um, let's start the reading. And the first card is the Ten of Pentacles. And in this card, as you can see, there's an aged man who's able to sit back and relax while watching the lives of his children and grandchildren. Satisfaction he drives from his achievement is showing in his children's happiness. So the Ten of Pentacles relates to the happiness that you experience because you have planted many seeds of happiness and shared in the lives of others, particularly family members and relatives. It points to the importance of these people in your life. So. If you are in a relationship, the Ten of Pentacles can indicate abundance, affection and luck as a couple from both an emotional and material standpoint. The two of you are in a strong position. <clears throat> it's likely that you have a strong foundation now for family. You should choose to have one. The idea may indeed be on your mind. You, you may be working together on moving in together or buying a house or starting a family. And if you are single, it might be that your family's approval may have a strong effect on who you choose as a partner. Your extended family may be very important to you and having a harmonious relationship between them and your romantic interests is important to you. So you are searching for something long term and you recognize that marriage is sometimes not just about love but about joining two families together. Okay, so <clears throat> moving to the next card, you have the five of pentacles. This card shows two shows two individuals walking outside while it's snowing not only are they cold they are also sick poor i can see them tired or hungry it looks as if they are lacking the basic necessities of life a lot of people can relate to the two individuals in more ways than one well I think it suggests a time of hardship and insecurity. The, the meaning of this card can be deep loneliness or illness. 
or poverty or loss your statue may, uh, might take a a turn for the worse in the near future so there's a chance that you will lose something significant whether it's financial wealth or an important item <coughs> Deterioration of your health might be already ongoing or be very sudden. So, financial hardship is represented by the Five of Pentacles. You will need to pinch pennies and stretch your dollars right now since money feels very tight. Sometimes, in the worst case, this card can also suggest material loss. So. You may also be dealing with debts or evictions, so expect money to be light when it appears. Whatever the situation, don't let your pride stop you from asking for help. Look into soap kitchens and charities if you need to. There should be no shame in doing so. We all go through tough times financially. If you can, you may want to start putting together an emergency fund, okay? And so, for the next card, we have Judgment. This card indicates that you are in a period of awakening brought on by the act of self-reflection. You, you now have a clearer idea of what you need to change and how you need to be true yourself and your needs. <clears throat> this can mean making small changes to your daily life or making huge changes that not only affect you but the people close to you. So the judgment card um, reminds us that we all will be faced with choices that will have an outstanding effects for your entire life so uh, the card brings to mind moments where actions you have taken have changed the course of your path for good so there may have been a moment where there is no looking back so uh, the consequences of those actions eventually will catch up to you and this card seems to indicate that it, this is the time you may have to let go of the past so you can move forward with your plans to have a new life. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles, you can see the difficulties that we faced in the earlier journey of the Pentacles appear to be over. The Nine of Pentacles convey not only joy but also the feeling of security and freedom that material wealth can bring. Looking back, the current can now celebrate the difficulties, the struggles and the hard work that lined her path. Her previous challenges gave her the wider perspective she needs to understand the spiritual value of her success. Knowing how difficult it was to get here, she intends to um, enjoy every single day that is given to her. So the nine of pentacles can also be about a specific time or period of this person's life. This time is about the strength and grace, diplomacy and grace will, will lead to the desired outcome. So here romance doesn't seem particularly present to you. You may just be seeking to appreciate what you have and uh, this quality can make you even more attractive to others. Lovers found now um, we need to make sure that they contribute to that happiness, not take away from it. So those who are already in a relationship may, may find that each person has their own achievements, careers, hobbies or interests in social life. There is a healthy mix of independence 
and love amongst you too. So sometimes this card can also point towards you and your lover working on your home together and creating a space that it's truly yours. Okay. Moving on to the, to the Knight of Cups. Um, it depicts a young knight who is gloriously riding a white horse while at the same time holding a cup as if he's a messenger of a certain sort. He appears as a messenger and with him he carries an invitation or an arrival of something or someone which is going to have a certain emotional benefit for you. So as a knight he's also charged with um, taking the gifts of his suits and bringing, bringing it outward into the board so he therefore can also represent the undertaking of some project with significance significant emotional or creative value for you so conflicts around you can be easier to deal with you are able to resolve issues with creative solutions as well as your emotional connection and awareness of others you you can see solutions that might otherwise remain undiscovered and this creativity can apply to you and your internal profession in general if you have been considering entering a job in a creative industry this card can also signify your success in that field so go ahead okay and for the last card we have the ten of cups and from its joyful depiction we can assume that the ten of cups embody happiness joy contentment and emotional satisfaction in your family relationship or companion it represents an ideal state of comfort harmony and peace and love also which makes you feel like you are in paradise this is where all your dreams wants need and wishes have been fulfilled and you feel a complete sense of satisfaction take a moment and breathe look around you and be thankful for all your blessings this card signifies something that so many of us are searching for so to see the ten of cups is to indicate a true emotional fulfillment on um, i mean one where the lonely self-satisfaction of the nine of cups is shared with others to create a true sense of community and family it's um crystallization of the innocence will of the ace of cups okay after learning how to love oneself uh, the nine of cups matured into the ten of cups which is <clears throat> the core about how true happiness stems from forging authentic bonds and connections with others so this card is the most associated associated with a, a sense of happy ever after of family of lasting harmony and peace okay so that was the reading of ten of cups and the whole reading i hope that you find it helpful if you do please like comment and subscribe and don't forget that it's it's a very big help for me to keep you updated and keep giving you new readings so um, thank you so much for joining and uh, see you next week I love you all bye